Hey guys, JH, welcome to uh, a windy and <laughs> soon to be a wet uh, practice tee. Okay guys, just wanted to, uh, to do something today, just give you a little bit of insight. One of our, uh, our channel posters from uh, Australia, from South Australia, Terry, Terence, uh, and um, I'm terrible with names. God. I talk to so many people every day and I just get so many posts and I just forget them. But you know who you, Terry, Terence, in South Australia? Uh, yeah, he sent me a, an email and said that he's been experimenting. He gave me the, the hip, uh, the increasing the hip turn the other day, but he's also got something else, guys, which I think is fantastic. I've just hit a couple of shots off camera and the wind here is brutal today. But this is fantastic. This is something else you can do with your preset. I've got a three iron here, guys, because I mean, it's just so windy in, in here. But what 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 uh, Terence or Terry is, is suggesting from South Australia is that when we're in here and we're in our pre-turn, and, and, and I've been flaring my trail foot a little bit, he's really flaring or, or actually closing his lead foot dramatically so that both feet are pointing there now guys what does that do now for me as soon as I turn that there it locks up that whole leg and locks up that lead hip locks up that torso locks up that shoulder so what it is it's a lock blocker for keeping the, the lead shoulder um, from 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 turning okay now if you've got a if you've got any problems with your knees I wouldn't try it because it puts a bit of pressure on your knee uh, or if you've got a you know, a bad hip or something like that, but if you're reasonably athletic But guys, it's it's fantastic. I mean I, I, I hit you know four or five shots just before I came on and and I want to do this quickly because it is going to rain but uh, I said I'd try it, but I did try it But I'm going to incorporate it in my golf swing because guys it is the piece de resistance in terms of Getting an automatic locking and blocking machine a mechanism for that trail side we had the golden cherry with the um, uh, with the uh, holding the, the the holy grail holding the shoulder there and then going here, but this makes it easier to to hold that position because you know you really can't spin uh, that that lower leg or the hip because the ankle joint is is locking up uh, the the lower leg into the knee. It's fantastic, guys. Now what you'll see here dramatically as a look. When I flare that right foot from the position here, that ball is in line with my right foot. When I flare it, it looks like it's moved forward a foot. When I flare my lead foot, it'll look like it's off my outside my lead shoulder. But it's not, guys. It's only because I'm, I'm flaring my feet. No change in the ball position. So watch this. So we're in here. We're in, in with our preset. Now we flare that trail foot, then we then we, 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 we turn the, the lead foot in. So we've got preset and lead foot turned in. Guys, it, it just blocks that whole lead side. It just blocks that whole lead side. It just does that. You can't get away from it. It's fantastic. Now you can do that in standard channel lock without any preset, without any, with any, without any holy grail. If you just have standard channel lock, and you were here, and you just did that, here, oh, as soon as I go in that lead foot, well, you know you're blocking because you've got this blocking feeling with that lead arm. It's just there. And the guys, early days for me, I only I've hit up half a dozen shots with it. But it feels fantastic. It, it feels really good. Over here with the cows again. Here we go. Now for me, I'm going to flare that and then I'm going to turn that one in. 
then I'm going to, I've got my preset and I'm going to have the, the Holy Grail. Oh, wow. Only, well, I've always said with channel lock guys, you can only ever get one shape and it'll always start in that direction. With that action, it, it's impossible for the ball to go over here. Couldn't go over there. Not possible for the ball to go in that direction. So if you're someone that has problems with the ball going left, just try this. You can't go left. Well, you, you could go left. I mean, I mean, if you got here and then you went like that, you could do that. But, but you know, applying yourself to, to, the, um, to the anatomics, here we are. Try to, and a flare. Preset. Flare the foot. Preset. And we're going to holy grail. Guys, I, and that's a great thing about having the type of channel that I've got. It's an open channel and, and we're always we're always open to to input. Uh, because you know the golf swing is an exploration journey and a development journey and an evolution journey. And and I can evolve it and develop it as much as I can. But getting feedback from everybody else. Is, uh, is important. So, um, Terence, if <laughs> oh, look, I'm, it's just hopeless. I mean, I mean, you just have so, I just have so many emails that I answer on a day to day basis. I mean, the channel is nothing compared to just my general stuff. And you know, I just get lost in, um, in communiques and names and people. Okay, we'll try it again, guys. Okay, here we are. We're going to flare that trail foot. Now, watch what happens. The ball looks like it's gone forward. Look where it looks like now. It's like it's over here. It hasn't gone anywhere. Okay, preset, flare, turn in, holy grail. Oh, that is a holy grail. Wow. That's three iron, guys. That's three iron. But don't feel like a three iron, it just feels like a seven iron or an eight iron because the swing doesn't change. And of course it doesn't change for me because the relationship of my trail arm is always in the same position no matter what golf club I hit. And when I get my one length golf clubs, if I ever get the damn things, because I'm so pedantic about how I want them made, uh, when I get those it's just going to be ridiculous. I, I do grip these down most of the time, I do forget because they're a conventional set of golf clubs and you think, you know, and the taper changes in the, uh, in the grip, so you, you tend to be up where you need to be. Here we go. Oh, it's so windy, guys. Okay, here we go. Preset, flare, turn in, holy grail. Look at this guy. That hip's still there. <laughs> now it doesn't hurt mine because I'm pretty strong in the legs, even being as old and decrepit as I am. But I've done a lot of leg work over the years and I've got very strong legs. And my knees have never given me trouble and I've done th millions of leg presses but I've never had trouble with my leg because I've probably done it correctly. Although they say you shouldn't do any of those, they're bad for your knees, but I've never had a problem with them. Watch this, guys. Okay, flare the trial foot. Turn the pre preset, holy grail. Oh, holy grail, holy cow. <laughs> wow. Guys, I'm getting it. This is only three days I've had the holy grail. I've only had holy grail three days, so, and I haven't hit a whole lot of balls. Because uh, the weather's always been so bad, you can't get out here because it just drives you nuts. But I hit some shots with that for, for Terry or Terence in South Australia. I hit a bunch of, um, uh, well, not a bunch, about 14 shots to a sign out here that's um, 
on this angle out here it's about 160 yards with a hard right to left wind and and I hit and I was hitting a six iron out there and and, and I was landing them every shot was to the right of the sign but within a 10 foot circle even with that right to left wind with that with that um, with that double flare see that's a flare and that's a turn in well that's a reverse flare that's a flare on the lead foot that's a reverse flare I guess but I've got to tell you that the accuracy that I've got that it gives you is just fantastic because guys your shoulders just stay dead square okay I'll just hammer this one just to see how I mean it's just really into that wind it's just not going very far at all Okay, flare that, turn that wind in. Big preset, holy grail. It's fantastic, I love it. So guys, I'm happy to have contribution from anybody. Uh, but that's a real worthwhile, and that's the first time I've, first time I've spoken about it today. I only uh, had it mentioned in, the, in a in an in a email communique I had with, uh, with uh, Terry or Terence um, last night. But that's it, I've just tried it and it's and that little bee in my golf swing, it feels fantastic. And I tell you what guys, it would be fantastic Wow, it's so windy. It would be fantastic for wedge shots. You know why? Because the stability that you would have. Say you're going to hit a little wedge shot up up there we've got our preset flare that turn that in oh guys I'm going to be hitting what I forgot to mention it's a terminology with with the uh, once we get here and we get the holy grail and we've got the preset the downswing feels like I'm I'm backing into the target feels like I'm backing into the target that's what it feels like that 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 that, that rump is backing into the target and, and believe it or not, that, that, that backing into the target pushes the shoulder that way. But for a wedge shot, guys, particularly into this wind here, we get it in here, turn those feet there, and preset, holy grail, and, and, a, and a lot of turn. It doesn't move, guys. It just doesn't move. But you feel so stable. Look at that. That's what it feels like. That's the first wedge shots I've hit with it. Okay, I'll, I'll hit a... Uh, I'll hit a full one, full wedge. Preset. Holy Grail, feet turned. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, and how? Well, I mean, I always hit my wedges straight anyway, but I mean, that's ridiculously straight. Okay, guys, just a couple of things today, a couple of additions, uh, but that's all good stuff. And it works fantastically well, just amazing. Oh, there's the proof of the pudding. I mean, I've just tried it this morning. And never hit a bad shot. Every shot was great. So we've got three things. We've got we've got the pre-turn, the preset. Then we've got the flare, the double flare, and then we've got the holy grail, where as we start down, we just move here. So there's three things, three new things. You can try them in in, in your in your standard channel. <coughs> they're they're not part of the standard model. There, there are options to put into the standard model. Absolutely. I'm just going to pour with rain a minute, guys. So I better get the camera going. But just a couple of things. And it's, as you saw it today here live, terrible conditions, and they were great shots. Absolutely great shots. And that's the first time I tried them. So uh, there's always great stuff with uh, channel lock. How good were those shots? Oh, yeah, I know. They were perfect.